What's up, everyone? Welcome to the quick hitter version of Catch and Shoot 2.0. Along with Otto Strong, I'm Aaron Berlin. With about a quarter of the season left to go, we gave our thoughts on the MVP race in the NBA. And also, Otto comes up with a new way to crown an MVP. Should the league MVP be voted on after the postseason so as to consider what happens in the playoffs? Absolutely. 100%. I get that it's a regular season award, we, but we have this conversation all the time in basketball, right? Like Giannis and the Bucks have been the best team in the Eastern Conference for the last two years, but that doesn't, nobody cares about what the Bucks are doing in the regular season this year, right? Because we're judging the Bucks based on what they're going to do in the postseason. Like if Giannis has another flame out, we're not going to say that he is the best player in the league next year. Because Duke can't win in the playoffs, right? Like, that's what the conversation turns towards. So, so, all right, so by extension, therefore, does the MVP of the finals become the league MVP? Is it just, it, we're basically handing one person two awards? Would there ever be a situation where the, uh, someone who has not won, uh, you know, a situation where the MVP of the finals is not also the MVP of the season? I mean, like... I can't think of a, of a scenario in which anybody would wind up with who would have wound up with the award, not winning, not winning both awards. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's a good point. Um, and I, I hate to say that, like, I, I haven't thought about this part, but, but I, I, I do think that there's, there's an aspect of say like a Nikola Jokic who is the regular season MVP, right. But his team Flames out in the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. Now let's say a Joel Embiid, who has played 20 games less in the regular season, by all in case points has equivalent numbers or close to what Jokic has, had, but plays, I don't know, maybe another 12, 15 games in the playoffs that Jokic doesn't play, then I think that makes it a much easier conversation to say, well, just because he didn't play those 20 regular season games, dude got his team to the NBA finals. May not have won, but he played 15 more games in the playoffs against playoff caliber teams and had just as good of a run. Mm. Yeah. I, I think, I think I like to, I like the regular season being an entity in and of itself. And I know it creates these, these awkward moments where we're giving the MVP to a guy who's in a suit instead of his, instead of his, uh, 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 you know, uniform or what have you. But it almost argues for like regular season MVP, playoffs MVP and finals MVP, because you could make a case that, that Jamal Murray would have been the playoff MVP last year or Jimmy Butler would have been the playoff MVP last year, yeah. but not the playoff finals. And I, I think that in a, in a way, even though it's like adding an award, which I mean, I probably just did TNT a favor because I'm adding, <laughs> I, I, I just created a, a, a sponsor you're opportunity them, you're for them. You're giving them more inventory, man. I mean, more inventory. another award show. Exactly, exactly. Well, another segment within the award show. So, I mean, I guess there should be some royalties that come in my way, whatever, but whatever, put, the, we'll put that on the conversation for another day. But I, I think it would be, uh, you know, a playoffs MVP, which would be a, a way to acknowledge some of the phenomenal work that gets done. That's someone other than, you know, this way it could go to the, like I said, Jimmy Butler lost finals or, or give it to somebody else who's, who's really, whose play was really remarkable and want, you know, you want to have that moment. Like, like Dane Muller would have, you know, would have gotten that oh, yeah. you know, a couple of years ago, you know, th things like that. Just call it the Dan Lillard MVP trophy because Dan Lillard needs something. I love, Dame Dollar Man. Like, yeah. if I could just watch Dame, it's it's a shame that the Blazers play on the left coast because I never get to watch Blazers games, and I love the Blazers. Like, it's such a shame that I yeah, watch it, Dame more. It's uh, it, it's it's good good stuff out there. Unfortunately, it's just you know past past our bedtimes in the East. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I guess if to, to build off that. And because if we're willing to consider someone like a Joel Embiid in this conversation, he's played 20 games less than mm -hmm. Nikola Jokic for the MVP. What would a player like AD, Kevin Durant, LeBron, who's dealt with injuries this year, 
have to do to get back into that discussion? Would they just have to go off for like 40 point straight games to like in the campaign? Like LeBron would have to come back tonight and run off 40 straight plays. Well, that's the thing. I mean, we, we have. Cause I feel inst- like we've decided, right? Like, like, like who cares what the last 20 games are? Like we have an idea who it is. Well, look, we, I mean, I, we, we can check the tape. You and I, you know, back, back in d- December or early January, the first couple of the games, KD went off and we're like, oh, this K- KD's got it on lock. And we're, then, we're, we're like, we're talking nets every week. Like. Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, and then, you know, and then and Harden steps up and Kyrie and Ron. Like, so, yeah, I, I feel like we, on, at, at, to a degree, I feel like we have short you know, memories on, on, on some of this stuff sometimes. Um, I feel like in the next three weeks, we may see, even though, you know, with each passing week, there's, there's more stuff that's in the bank and less stuff that's, that's to come. But it also feels like, I don't know, if the Nuggets are a six seed, I think, I think some of those 44 media members might get a little, well, <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> like the NBA, it, as much as any other league, is a like, what have you done for me lately? Like, oh, wow. I will 100% admit that, like, I'm like, hey, man, that guy's at, like, six good games. I'm about <laughs> it. <laughs> like, 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 I get it, and I completely understand. Like, if you have a sample size of 54 games, and you're scoring seven points more than you had in your years prior, yeah, you're, you're up for it. But I, I, I also do think that it's, it's a conversation as part of the entire – season and it's it's an award that needs to be predicated off you know team success as well and if you finish fourth or fifth then you can't be the league mvp it's just it's well, not how well, it works well so so here so i'm gonna throw some out at you you tell me what you think what if the instead of doing it by you know we get to the end of the season and we vote what if we had a, basically an mvp vote every week or every month to figure out whatever unit of time that is and they are votes. So, you know, first gets a certain number of points, second, third, fourth, whatever. And then you, you carry those votes throughout the, throughout the season. And so at the end of the year, at the end of the season, you, you have, you've earned these credits over time. If you were hurt and you didn't play for two weeks or two months, then you, you obviously can't be included can't, in that you, week's vote. Well, no, you, you don't get the credit. You don't, you don't, you don't, you haven't earned credits for, for that amount of time. So at the end of the season, it, it rewards the, the player who has played, you know, 75, 78, 80 games, what have you, whatever, you know, obviously not this year with the 80. Uh, but so that's one, that's one way to do it. Now, but the, 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 the flip side is like, if you were to be the third best player every week, but you're consistently always the third best player, is that enough? Is, is that because you could take, you could parlay every third place that you have and that might be enough to get you the most votes overall. And would that, would that be acceptable? Well, so I, I, I will put it this way, and I will relate it back to 90s Aaron Berlin when he used to play video games a lot. Like, I played Mario Kart in 64 all the time, right? Never the best racer in the cup. But if I finished, I don't know, like five out of six races in second or third, and I maybe threw in one first place, you know what happened? Won Your the damn place? cup every exactly. single time. Exactly. Won the cup because I had the most accumulated points. I actually like that. And it, it seems like it would allow for not only the media to have an easier conversation about this, but I think if you, if you let the players, and the players do have some, some part of the vote, right? Like right now, like they, they make up a very small percentage of the total MVP vote. If I'm not mistaken, uh, how much of it I do not know. I'm 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 mad at my element on this one, but maybe we can get some help from our producers, perhaps. But it, but if not, we'll roll them. But, but yeah, it's and, and I think it's a chance to let them be a larger participant in this too, right? Like it's their peers, it's their coworkers, it's a vote that they should be able to vote on and have equal amount of say. And I think that you know, if it's anything like how you know the players take uh, when it's just orchestrating their all-star rosters, they take it pretty damn serious, right? <laughs> like, and so it sounds like right now it's just sports and broadcasters vote, but why not let the players be a part of it? We can let the players be a part of it, but I, I do like the idea of, of voting in increments of time other than the full season, you know, whether it's, again, by week or by month or set up something after, after every 10 games because, you know, there are some weeks when a team will play, you know, 
four games. Another week, the team will play two, and it's obviously it's not necessarily fair. So maybe after every ten games, there's a. I don't know how it would work exactly, but it it, it avoids the whole issue of, well, he only played sixty five, and we're going to give it to him because if he has earned, if he's earned it, then he'll get it, and if he hasn't earned it, then he won't. And so what? Yeah. The NBA the NBA season is typically six or seven months regular season. Runs for six or seven months. Uh, yeah, depending when they start, six six months, I, I believe, is the you know October yeah, just, through through mid April. They, they give out those monthly award awards, right? Right, like player yeah. of the month in the East and the West. Just update the MVP voting at that same time, and like say this is how many this is how many points X player has. This is what they did this month, and this is the leaderboard of top five. Yeah, I mean, Damn, I don't... it's like the NCAA when they do those net rankings, and everyone's like what the hell are these? <laughs> it's like, it, 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 yeah, it's, and it's like another sport that I never, ever, ever thought I'd quote, but it's like NASCAR and like, when oh, yeah. and that there are standings and you, you know how many points behind you are and, and, you know, you know what a, what a win equals and means. And I mean, this is a little different because you're not racing toward a, a line. You could, you could have a great week and average 40 points a game, but you know, if, if damn Steph Curry decides he's going to have 53 points a game, <laughs> then, then, oh, well, you know, you picked a bad week to have a great week. <laughs> so true. I think we just solved the MVP issue. You know what? Yes. Yes. You know, for, again, for our contributions. <laughs> Chief content officer, Bruce Bernstein, get this up to the NBA league office. We know, you know, people within the office, just let them know. Just let them know. If you'd like to hear more of our thoughts on what's happening around the world of basketball, check out the full version of Catch and Shoot 2.0 from Pure Hoops Media. You can also see the video version of the Catch and Shoot Quick Hitter on the Pure Hoops Media YouTube channel.